Dear student, welcome to language assessment. It is my pleasure to be your professor for the following eight weeks. This course is offered by this master's program here at UTPL. As English teachers, we are committed to improving the quality of teaching and learning in the classroom. With this in mind, it is important to assess the effectiveness of the EFL teaching and learning process. The main purpose of this course is to develop the competency to apply assessment instruments which measure the knowledge, skills, and abilities of EFL learners. This course is divided into four units. Each unit covers two weeks of instruction. In Unit 1, we will cover testing and assessment, which places emphasis on the difference between testing and assessment, the importance of language assessment, and the types of assessment. In Unit 2, we will study the principles of language assessment that teachers should apply in the design of formal tests and assessments of all kinds. In Unit number 3, we will learn different tasks to assess the four language skills. Finally, in Unit number 4, we will cover the construction of rubrics for assessing the students' performance. We will learn this course's contents through e-learning, discussions, cooperative learning, projects, and research that will increase your knowledge through active learning. All the activities in the course have been planned to help you apply the principles of language assessment, to design tasks for assessing English learners, and to determine if English teachers are using the appropriate types of assessments in the classroom. These activities are aimed at developing your research and critical thinking skills through the analysis of information, language tests, and the application of questionnaires and interviews to English teachers and learners. As you can see, this course is more practical than theoretical, which will improve your teaching practice. As a master's student, you may have your own strategies to study and assess your progress. However, I would like to provide you with some strategies that may help you organize your time and activities. Pay special attention to the course competencies, learning results, and the activities proposed for this course to have a better understanding on how this course helps you to improve knowledge and teaching skills. Assign the best time for effective studying of the material provided and completing the assignments proposed for the course. Use different study techniques, such as underlining, highlighting, taking notes, making graphic organizers, diagrams, among others. Think critically about what you are learning and how useful it is for improving your teaching practice.